Welcome back to Yosha Entertainment, everybody. So I'm going to let y'all know right now, if you're somebody who's easily triggered, if your pride is easily wounded whenever people talk about issues, about marriage, adultery, stuff like that, this is probably not the video for you. But anyways, so just recently, I found out that the singer, actress, um, wife of Israel Houghton, the gospel singer, Adrian Baylon Houghton, is going to be the host of a show called Love for the Ages. Now, just by seeing the preview of the show, first of all, they need to retitle that show Lust of the Ages because there's no love involved in that show at all. And it is further proof that our society has really sunk to a bottom feeding level when we are okay with adultery, people cheating on their spouses, that it's never okay, it will never be okay. And I don't care what anybody says, it won't be okay. But anyways, to give this some context, the show is basically about, apparently, couples whose relationships i guess are on the rocks if you will going to this you know location that's kind of like a i guess like a getaway vacation spot and they are intermingling with other people who are not their spouses given the opportunity to sleep with these people if they want to and i guess it's supposed to be like uh we're gonna see how much you really care about your spouse type of thing I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a news flash. Spoiler alert. Most people, and I do believe this, uh, who are married, they would fail that test miserably, especially if those people are very attractive. Because unfortunately, human nature is just to go to the, the opposite end of the spectrum when it comes to good and evil. Um, towards the evil, you know, people just tend to always do what they shouldn't do. And given any level of temptation, whether it's large or small, they're going to crumble. And people don't want to admit that. Like, people don't want to also admit that this show is awful because it promotes adultery. Now, there were a lot of people in the comments of the video, of the, you know, the preview, that were dragging it for filth, as they should have been. Like, this is a horrible thing to do. Like, this is not okay. Like, if somebody is having issues in their marriage, you take them to therapy. You help them work that out with the two of them. You don't bring them to an island where they have the opportunity to cheat on their spouse. Because that might be the last straw that breaks the camel's back and ruins somebody's marriage for good. And I guess some people feel like, oh, well, if they sleep with somebody, then maybe that means you don't need to be with them. But it doesn't even have to get that far for you to figure that out. It doesn't. And some people, their marriages are probably fine. Like I said, all they really need is some therapy. But you got the added temptation. Now, what could have worked out most definitely probably won't work out because they were too lustful and too lacking in self-control to keep themselves from doing something that they shouldn't have. It's awful. And I just, I don't understand why people want to promote and push it so much, why people are so okay with it. It's like, like I said, we've sunk to this bottom feeding level in society where people want to do things that they should not. They get mad. Their pride gets wounded whenever you tell them the truth, whenever you call them out. You could just be simply saying, I just want people to do better because y'all are, y'all are worth more than this. Y'all are better than this. And you're just telling them, hey, we shouldn't do this because we should be better. And again, their pride will get wounded. Their ego is now cracked. And now they have to lash out like immature idiots because they're mad because you're trying to hold them to a higher standard and tell them this is not something we should be doing but no they want to justify it so they can feel better doing it garbage garbage all around and another thing adrian balon should be really ashamed of herself for even thinking about hosting that show y'all this is the wife of a gospel singer okay you can say whatever you want to because you know that's one of the first things i know people are gonna say they're gonna run to her defense and say hey you can't judge her god knows her heart who are you you're not the almighty judge you can't condemn everybody and that's true and nobody's trying to condemn anybody but people have the right to call out what's wrong this woman is supposed to be, like I said, the wife of a gospel artist. She claimed on The Real, whenever The Real was still going on, that her relationship with Israel Houghton did inspire her to get a better relationship with God. Now, do you really think God would inspire somebody to host a show that does stuff, that encourages people to do stuff, that he pretty blatantly says in his word, in his Bible, that he's not a fan of, that he hates actually? That doesn't even make sense. And, and it's really butt backwards and quite hypocritical because people will run to the fence of people like Adrian Balon after they do stuff like this that they're not supposed to because they're supposed to have a relationship with God and be something akin to a Christian, I guess, or a believer at least. 
But then on the other hand, people are real quick to throw pastors and preachers and men and women of the cloth under the bus and extend no grace and mercy towards these people after they mess up once. But again, we'll run to the defense of these celebrities and defend them and say you can't judge them. Like I said, after judging somebody else for doing some of the same things that they judge them for being hypocritical, not being about the life that they claim that they're about. If you say that you're saved and you believe in God, then there ought to be some kind of sign showing. The Bible says that the redeemed of the Lord say so. I'm not seeing a whole lot, you know, going on there. You're supposed to be showing some kind of fruit. I don't see very much. And people have the right to call that out, but people have the audacity to get mad and offended. I'll never understand that. She has a brand, okay? She's supposed to represent, you know, some kind of godly figure, right? She's married. She has a child. She's supposed to represent, you know, family, marriage. This is way out of her brand. Like, let's just even... Now, let's not even think about the whole, like, her integrity, whatnot. This is just not even within her brand. And before anybody says, oh, well, she, you know, she had to find a job. She had to make that money. She is not broke, okay? And even if she couldn't find a job, she's married to Israel Holton. And and there was no, I'm sure, shortages of jobs for her to find. She just picked this one because she wanted to. She could have done better, a whole lot better. Anyways, I said what I said and I stand by what I said. She could have done better. She should be ashamed of herself. The network that put that garbage on should be ashamed of themselves. And anybody that takes part in that should be ashamed of themselves. If you can't stand your spouse that much, then you just need to get a divorce. I don't know why people are upset with always, like I said, doing the wrong thing with such determination. Like nobody can do the right thing these days just because it's the right thing to do. Like if you're not in love with them or if you if 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 whatever happened and you just don't want to be with them anymore, because some of these people that are going on there, it could very well be them. They could be the problem. And y'all are supporting them going and sleeping with other people just because they want to be degenerates. But anyways, if you just don't want to be with somebody, just get a divorce. My goodness. But anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think and how y'all feel down in the comments below. Respectfully, don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all have a blessed day.